Hello everybody and welcome to Mac Gaming Revolution, the home of everything gaming on a Mac. Today, I'll be covering the Valve Cult Classic Gary's Mod, and how you can play it on your Apple Silicon Mac. Many of you may think that it's impossible to play, due to the warning message on the Steam page saying you can only play 32-bit games, but it's actually possible, and you don't even need something like Crossover, as it runs natively. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like what I do, and without further ado, let's get into the video. In order to run Gary's Mod on Mac, you're going to need two things, a copy of Gary's Mod, and a download of the Gmod CEF codec fix. The Gmod fix can be obtained from GitHub, which I'll link in the description. First, go to the page that I'll have linked, go to releases, click on this, and then just simply download the Mac OS version. Next, you're going to want to obtain Gary's Mod from Steam. This can be done from the website or the Mac native Steam application. Go down, purchase the game, and have it appear in your library. Once you have Gary's Mod downloaded, you're going to want to navigate over to this little gear icon, click it, push properties, and then go over to betas, and then select this option, x86-64 chromium plus 64-bit binaries. This is essentially going to put your game into x64 mode so your computer can read it. Once you do that, Gary's Mod will have an update. Next, what you're going to want to do is convert this file you just downloaded from the GitHub into an executable file like I have up here. First, what you're going to want to do is open up a new terminal. You can simply do this by getting it from the Utilities tab down there or from your launchpad like that. Next, what you're going to want to do is follow along and type in these commands or copy and paste them from the video's description. What you're going to want to type in is chmod plus x and then you're going to want to simply drag this right into there and then hit enter. As you can now see the file is now an executable. You can now take this executable, put it on your desktop, put it in applications, put it anywhere you want as well. You're then going to want to open up this file that you just created, the executable, and it'll sit here, it'll do its little thing for a bit, and if it's the first time you're going to be opening this, a bunch of, uh, it's going to do a bunch of things, it's going to like patch all the different things and stuff and make it work. Once it works, it'll just simply say, do you want to launch Gary's Mod now, yes or no, and then you just type, you can type in yes or no, or just like Y or N and then it'll launch Gary's Mod. And I'm just gonna type in and then enter and sign off from the terminal. But for reference, you're going to have to do that every single time you wanna play Gary's Mod. You're going to have to launch this every single time you wanna play Gary's Mod. And then hit yes, and then it'll launch it. You don't need to have Steam open, it'll open up Steam and launch Gary's Mod through it. You cannot launch it through this, basically or else you'll have to like re-fix all the files with this executable again, and it'll just take a bit. So yeah, that's how you play Gary's Mod on Mac OS. Thank you all so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll leave you off with some gameplay.